as recognition of the desire and right of all people to live, work and thrive in a safe, modern and dignified manner. A call to unity and action in the form of simple yellow vest has rang out across many nations. We the Irish people here today recognise and acknowledge that call and we gather with purpose and determination. No longer shall we accept cold, cruel bureaucracy as a legitimate reason to use force against those struggling to keep a roof over their head. No longer will we tolerate corruption, cronyism and political deception. No longer will we allow our people to suffer for want in this island of plenty. Wow, the Irish. The Irish are coming. Oh, shit, you fucking... Know. Yellow vest spreading, spreading the message of of unity. What did he say? He said, "The call to unity and action in the form of simple yellow vest has rang out across many nations." Wow, shit! And they got it too. See, I know. I thought the, in Europe they're trying to paint it a a right wing conspiracy. I had a right wing. You got jerkoffs here saying it's Soros behind it. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Right. It's the left wing leftists, the leftists, they're paying, they're paying the people, they're paying the people to, to, to speak up for themselves. <laughs> that's, that's not what big business do, uh, does. So my name is Marcus Conti. I'm reporting today. I want to uh, talk about a couple of things. I got a, an amazing video that I'm going to show uh, in its entirety, right? And uh, it's three minutes. I know, I know YouTube is a fucking attention span of children. I got it. But you're going to watch this for three minutes and, and I'm going to help you understand something because that's what this is really about. This is education. I'm pro Professor Conti right? because no one thinks I'm, I, got, I got anything to say. So here, here's, I think I'm a joker. All right, so here's, here's the chart. I feel like that guy, what's the, the guy, uh, the, the artist guy? I'm going to put a little, a little brush, I put a little brush stroke right here. You know that guy's voice? His fucking name, Ross. So here's the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average. Remember two weeks ago I said, oh shit, it's no, no chance of a market crash. That's when it was all the way up on the top. It was, uh, I guess, let's see, let's see, let's see. It was uh, up here, right? It was up on the top of the... And now you see that last line down? Oh shit, it's fucking deadly. Oh no, what does it mean? You see this? Watch this. See this, see, this is the whole year. You see how the how the bottom is now the market is the lowest whatever whatever in fact whatever people made in in the beginning of the year one year ago is now equivalent to the same they've made nothing they've taken the roller coaster ride and gone up and down right, but you see that line right there once it breaks past the bottom see that right there that's 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 bad news <laughs> that's bad news that's a uh that's that's an indication of a uh, 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 the, the onslaught of a of a uh, of a sell off. Right? So are we approaching a bear market? Yeah, it looks like it. Who cares? Can't doesn't have. Oh shit! Give a shout out to Mark uh, Mark Mark Hodgson, the uh, the artist, the artist. Oh shit! Look at this shit. He thinks I'm a like. He's got. A, uh, it's a. Oh, I gave it away. Oh damn, damn! This shit is crazy. Right? It's fucking big middle finger, right? That's how people see me. I don't know. I like that one. Right? See, class. It's classy, right? <clears throat> oh shit! That's cool. It's got a, like a little Santa condom, Santa Santa hat, Santa hat condom on the microphone. Not bad. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate that, man. It's a good job. You guys, are fucking talented. So what I want to talk about today is and um, is the okay. So we know the elections are coming around. We know it's going to be it's going to be a fiasco leading up to 2020. There's people saying that Trump isn't going to get the nomination. That's only happened you know four times in history and not in modern history, where a sitting president didn't get the nomination of his own party. So that's ridiculous, right? Even I I, I mean to me at this point. The 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 the, uh, the power the uh, of Trump and his his oration skills is, is just no ways. 
And even if he doesn't run, people say, oh, he doesn't want to be president. Let's address that. I don't want to be president. Well, he'll become president and then he'll hand it off to somebody. He'll hand it off to Pence or somebody. Nobody walks away from power like that, especially a guy like Trump. So, all right. So, so what is the Yellow Jacket movement? Right? Yellow Jacket, it's not right wing kooks. You know, it's not left wing kooks. Right? It's the middle. It's the middle slice of people. Right. In fact, it's probably 98 percent because the, the left kooks and the right kooks are a small chunk. Right. So, again, what is what is the what did those what did that Irish guy tell you that it's unity against cronyism? It's un, it's it's unity for dignity of regular people. That's what he's telling you. Right. Right. And who's who's causing Who's causing that pain and that grief, right? Everybody wants to say, oh, deep state, right? It's the fucking deep state, right? I heard, I read it on Chinese chat board. It says deep state, right? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's Comey and it's McCabe and it's, 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 uh, Strozak and, and fucking Page and, and, and they're, they're running around like snakes in the grass. And if we can catch them all and that's the swamp. No, that's not the swamp, right? That's the, that's the, um, a symptom of the swamp, which is those are paid government people. You could get rid of them in a, in a second. What you can't get rid of is the bigger problem, which is the banks, right? So you got four major banks. Right? Now, I'm going to highlight one particular bank because I found an amazing video that uh, pretty much explains how the banks uh, are raping the country in the form of, you know, like in 2007 and 2008, right? When the market crashed, right, and they said it was the great recession of our time, right? But I thought the markets, the markets are up, but people are still suffering, right? See, there's no connection between the markets anymore. And their market is about to go to the fucking toilet, right? But at that time, 15 million, 15 million Americans lost their homes to foreclosure. You remember that? $13 trillion in savings lost, gone, right? Right. There's no shit, right? And uh, J.P. Morgan, that's the one we're going to talk about. J.P. Morgan and uh, Mr. Jamie Dimon, the CEO, right? Got a 300, I can't even say the numbers, they're so high. $391 billion bailout. J.P. Morgan, one bank, right? And there's, there's this is not just one bank. There's four or five banks in the U.S. got that, but other companies got it too, Right. And these guys, they don't pay tax, right? So, seventy. So, so they got three hundred and ninety-one billion dollar bailout from the feds, right? Seventy. They are now seventy percent larger. J.P. Morgan Chase, J.P.M. Look at on. Look at the stock. The ticker symbol is now seventy percent bigger than it was when it was too big to fail. <laughs> it's just. It's fucking, it's, it's staggeringly, staggering numbers. In 2013, the, the video I'm going to play is going to explain all this, but I just want to get in front of it because I, I and then I'll come back. That uh, J.P. Morgan paid $13 billion in fines, right? Bribery, corruption, extortion, right? All these fines. None of them went to jail. None of them were brought up. There was no charges. There never is, right? Because... You know, my, our friends want to say, oh, anti you got antitrust laws, right? These people don't follow the fucking law. You can have all the laws in the world, right? And and that's actually, let me, let me talk about that for a second. Antitrust laws, right? You don't want to go in that direction. Why? Because you don't know how to run a fucking bank. I don't know how to run a bank. The, the, certainly the, the jerk-offs in Congress have no idea how to run a bank, right? Nobody knows how to run a bank except the bank. Right. So you tax them, you tax them, let them do what they do and you tax them. So if they're going to profit, they're profiting for you. Right. And then you, you, you have to look at the way the distribution of the tax hits the economy in the form of whatever. Right. That's not socialism. That's not redistribution of wealth. That's that's taking back the money that was stolen from you. It's so frustrating, you know, I mean, 
again, as I say this, there's going to be 20 jerk offs that say socialism doesn't work. Bernie's a fraud. Bernie's a fake. I don't give a fucking flying fucking fucking rat's ass about Bernie Sanders. He's not part of the discussion. What is part of the discussion, right, is the banks are raping the country without without any lubricant whatsoever, right? They're just straight up right in, right? Okay, that's what's going on, right? And so, and and you know, and we're, we're heading, we're heading. There's no sign, there's no sign, there's no break in the action whatsoever, right? The only break in the action, right, is a call to action, which is what's now crossing over Europe, right? Which is a a simple message of income and wealth inequality, where people don't feel dignified in their own skin anymore where they can't make enough money to to live a a just a basic life right and guys like jamie Dimon is now a billionaire right he's a fucking billionaire right he and he's worth i mean he's worth they say on on papers or the billion dollars so let's watch this video and uh i'll, I'll come back i don't look at a recession as a bad thing Even a recession could be good for JP Morgan's share price. Here is their chairman and CEO, Jamie Dimon. I mean, it's bad for America. It's bad for the people unemployed. It's usually an opportunity for JP Morgan. Whoa, did you hear that? Of course, Jamie Dimon sees a recession as a money-making opportunity. The last time Wall Street crashed the economy 10 years ago, 15 million families lost their homes to foreclosure, while thousands of Americans were forced to set up tent cities in Sacramento, Fresno, Tampa Bay, and Reno because they couldn't afford a place to live. Jamie Dimon was able to buy a $17 million, 34-acre estate in Bedford, New York, while Americans lost over $13 trillion in savings, making it impossible for families to send their kids to college, Jamie Dimon is now worth over $1 billion. At the height of the financial crisis, more than 27 million Americans were unemployed, underemployed, or stopped working altogether because they could not find a job. How did Jamie Dimon do? Just great! His bank received a $391 billion bailout from the Federal Reserve when Jamie Dimon was literally sitting on the board of directors at the New York Federal Reserve. Jamie Dimon has made over $248 million in total compensation since 2007. JP Morgan Chase, a bank that taxpayers bailed out because it was too big to fail, has increased its assets by more than a trillion dollars. Today, it is over 70% bigger than it was before the taxpayer bailout. Jamie Dimon knows that a recession is a money-making opportunity because he understands that if his bank gets in trouble again, the federal government will be there to bail it out while millions of Americans will be left to suffer. The business model of Jamie Dimon, JP Morgan Chase, and Wall Street is fraud, pure and simple. In November of 2013, JP Morgan Chase paid a $13 billion fine for lying to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac about the quality of mortgage-backed securities it sold them. JP Morgan is admitted to wrongly foreclosing on thousands of military families and overcharging them for their mortgages. We failed to comply with aspects of the law, admitted an executive vice president of JP Morgan Chase. In July of 2016, JP Morgan Chase paid $200 million to settle criminal and civil charges related to bribing foreign officials. Not only did no one go to jail, Jamie Dimon is still the CEO of this bank. The reality is that the greed of Jamie Dimon and JP Morgan Chase is destroying the social fabric of America. I don't look at a recession as a bad thing. Here is the bottom line. No financial institution should be too big to fail, and no Wall Street CEO, including Jamie Dimon, should be too big to jail. We need an economy that works for all of us not just Jamie Dimon and his billionaire friends on Wall Street. So everything in that video is verifiable, right? That's evidence, right? That is, that is a, a documentary put together by, by honest, reliable sources. Everything in there is truthful. That is the evidence. 
right? You now have the evidence on the table of how banks operate. Just one. That's just one example, right? That doesn't. Goldman Sachs is way more vicious and 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 uh, destructive than J.P. Morgan, in my humble opinion. But but J.P. Morgan, a commercial bank, is is just one example of a business model that is fraud. It's not. It's not. There's no. Th th what I'm trying to convey is that there is no way. That hardworking American people can compete with this sort of monopoly, this sort of out of control crony capitalism where they move money around in terms of housing and 27 million people are out of house, out of a house, and these guys made $25 billion or $391 billion, right? right? That's what I'm trying to say. If you think that you can compete, and you think that, and you want to stand behind and say, oh, America is about, uh, you, you can't take money from the rich and give it to the poor. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a system, a system of capitalism that has, that always leads to oligarchy, historically, right? It's, it's free market, but there's, there's mechanisms inside that free market that prevent it from in from from exploding in certain areas where certain people get rich and everyone else starves but as as those billionaires and trillionaires grow they then pay off the politicians to change the laws to prevent those uh speed breaks to to prevent those 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 uh, uh from going off the cliff right so what you have is, again, the source of the problem is the banking industry, is corporations, right? And the only way to get them is not to try to try to enforce regulation on them. Everybody say, oh, no fucking regulation. Well, and now you people say, you can't regulate. I'm for free markets and free regulation. Fuck you. You don't know what you're talking about, right? Free market is is not not when when it's become a monopoly you must break it up right and you don't have to, to break it up i don't like that idea you deflate it you you suck the money out of it in the form of a taxation on corporations publicly traded corporations over 10 million dollars rather simple to do right, so so go ahead jerk offs go ahead bernie's a socialist bernie Sand that source that source of that information is bernie sanders's camp all right that's who that's who put that out a, a few days ago right now you want to compare that to trump we need more republicans we the, the economy has never been so good the markets are up uh uh unemployment is ne is is the is the lowest in 50 years right you want to believe all that bullshit you want to believe that 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 this administration is somehow going to fix the problem that i just defined and told you about that is epidemic in on wall street this is not rare this is not uh uh a, a um an isolated incident this is what happens on wall street this is the state of your economy these are the guys running the fucking show right these are the bad guys the bad guys are running the show guys like jamie diamond are running the show right it's not that's the swamp and a guy like trump who says give them you know give them tax breaks knock it down from 35 to 20 percent and eliminate the tax of anything that they do abroad anything that they do overseas is so fucking ridiculous and so reckless the opposite is what you have to do oh yeah antitrust law but you you're living in a law, a lawless. The SEC is supposed to regulate these people. They don't do it, right? They don't do it, right? So you have to. And again, you don't want to regulate a bank because you don't know how to run a bank, right? You want them to do the business that they do, and you want to tax them so that that money hits the real economy, right? In many, many ways. There's many discussions how you can do that through infrastructure building and. And um, maybe a, a high-speed rail like the, the rest of the fucking 
you know free world has right there's a, there's a lot of ways to go with that uh, with that seed money um, make it available for small businesses and and so people have leisure time again and people and and the price of, of houses comes plummeting down because these jerk offs aren't making all the money on it right you bring all that shit down I say the way to do it is a boycott right I still believe it I don't think that there is I think that the yellow uh, vest movement ultimately leads to an all-out boycott of the banking industry freeze on the banks five percent of the take five percent of your money out boom and the banks will freeze right and then they have to come to the table if they go crying to the to, to the fed again maybe this time maybe this time the people will 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 stop it before it's too late my name is marcus Conti reporting